All right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. I am Johnny Burtek with Johnny Talk Sports, here to give you this major trade that happened today. We've had several trades happen, a lot of people going somewhere. See, the NBA season never stops. Even when a team wins a championship, teams are always looking forward to the very next season. So let's get started on what happened today. Here's the first trade. In fact, another trade happened. It involved a major player on a certain team that's going to a team that already has a major player who may not necessarily like the team he's on right now. But I won't spoil it in case you haven't watched sports today, like Sports Center Day, like I have. I haven't watched that much TV in the last couple of days. But let's get started with this one. A three-team trade happened today. The Utah Jazz got George Hill from the Indiana Pacers. The Indiana Pacers got Jeff Teague from the Atlanta Hawks, which, as a Hawks fan, I kind of saw that coming because this is probably a rebuilding year for the Hawks, as I will explain in about a minute or two what has happened with Atlanta this week and today. Kind of some dev news for fellow Hawks fans out there. And the Hawks got the 12th pick, which is originally owned by the Jazz. And I, I'm really sorry about the board and how it just glares the computer screen a little bit. So let me just log out of it a little bit. So that's light enough now. So here's what I think. I think the Pacers are the winner of this trade. Because they got Jeff Teague, who's probably a better shooter than George Hill is. Because George Hill's kind of getting up there in age. I think he's either 30 or 31. I think the Hawks are are the runners up in this trade because depending on who the 12th pick is that they're that they're taking from the Jazz, maybe it's going to be one of the foreign players like Furkan Korkmaz. Maybe it's going to be him. Maybe it could be I don't know. Maybe they'll take a shot at Denzel Valentine. Maybe they'll take a shot. Maybe they'll try to get a big man. Maybe they'll try to get Sabonis. Just in case they can't re-sign Horford as well. In fact, it seems like every player on the Hawks is being pursued by a certain team. Al Horford's being pursued by the Pistons and the Lakers. I think he's also maybe being pursued by the Bulls now. Paul Millsap is being pursued by the Raptors. Kyle Korver might be traded within the next week or two. I think he'll be traded maybe after the draft, maybe before 4th of July weekend. I won't be surprised if Kyle Korver gets traded to somebody. Maybe he could be traded to, like, maybe he'll be traded to Golden State if the Warriors can't re-sign Harrison Barnes. Now, the Jazz getting George Hill, I don't think this is going to work out for them. I think George Hill's probably going to be on that team for maybe two seasons and he'll retire. That's at least what I think. Because George Hill's up there in age. You have young players like Gordon Hayward and Trey Burke. You have them. And they just gave up a 12th, the 12th overall pick for a 30, 30, 30, 31-year-old player. It's probably going to be in the NBA for about two more seasons until retirement. Three years at the max. And they had the lottery pick. They could have drafted Corkmus, a decent shooter. They could have just drafted him if they had the chance. Or they could have gotten a big man like Sabonis or Denzel Valentine. So I think the Jazz is the complete losers of this trade. Anyway, comment below what you think of this trade, who won and who lost, and who else do you think is going to probably get traded within the next couple of days, or maybe in hours with the way these things are going, and on the eve before draft night as well. So I think this is a trade that's perfectly executed by two of the three parties. I think the Jazz are the unlucky ones. I think they're going to end up being the loser of this trade in the future, and we'll see that not only on draft night, but probably throughout the season as well, and the next season after that. Anyway, like and subscribe to the channel. Email for future video ideas, burtechjohnny at gmail.com. No one really does. Anyway, I will see you in a little bit, because I have another video to make on another trade. I will see you there. Have a good day, everyone.